Okay, so the first criteria for diamond is you need a minimum of four personally sponsored coaches on your left leg and four personally sponsored coaches on your right leg. They all have to be active. You have to be active. Everybody's on Shakeology Home Direct, right? Now, the second part of that criteria is you need at least one emerald coach on each of your two legs. And you don't need an additional besides the four. It could be any one of these four or an extra or whatever. So for this example sake, let's say on the left side, this person here, they're sponsoring one. I'm filling in the little circles to signify that you do not personally sponsor those coaches. They're in your downline, but you do not sponsor. For this example sake, this guy right here sponsors. He's got one on his uh, right, he's got another one on his left. They're active, he's active, or she. Now this coach is Emerald. And the same thing with this side. Now we just got to get one of these four active coaches, Emerald, and then your Diamond. So for this example's sake, So this person is uh, personally sponsoring that guy on his right and this guy on his left. And now, your diamond, that's one example of what a diamond could look like. Your team cycles are going to be worth more money, more streams of income are going to be open, you're going to cycle more because you've got more activity and volume happening in your downline. It's all good. This is also how your middle is going to fill out. You're stacking wide and deep, but this is how your middle is going to fill out. These people are going to start filling out their left and their right, okay? This is what's known as a power leg. You've got your two power legs, your right side, your left side. A power leg is when you just stack everybody on top of each other or underneath each other so that every time you stack a new coach, say at the very bottom of this right leg here, then whatever that person does at the very bottom, all these people, they're gonna, they're gonna benefit from that, from the volume that's, that's created. You and everyone in between. Then when you get more coaches, so between that coach, the very bottom one, and you, all these people are going to benefit. Now if you start arbitrarily just uh, uh, stacking people in, in ways that just doesn't make any sense when you deviate from your two power legs, then you're going to start to rob some of your coaches um, of, of some personal volume and maybe a little bit of, mot of uh, motivation as well. So that's not good. You want to keep your two power legs going. I find it works the best, especially for motivating people and uh, and also just for the sake of your earnings and the earnings of your coaches. Have those two power legs going. Always go as deep as possible with your personally, personally sponsored coaches. And just for the sake of being more visually organized, go wide as well as deep. Now, uh, you're going to fill out the middle when these people get their own power legs going. Like this person here. These are the very two tops of his power legs, and he's going to keep stacking them down, and so on. And you know, this guy here might start getting his own, and he's got his own two power legs now, and he might get his, and that's how, the, that's how this whole center thing is going to fill out. Every once in a while, you're going to come across a coach who just takes off, and they're sponsoring coaches, coaches left and right, and the whole middle is going to fill up. But all the while, you're still stacking wide and deep, because those are your power legs. And this view right here, it's going to look exactly the same for each and every one of these coaches as they build their organization because all of us, remember, like I said at the beginning, we are all at the very top of our own organization. It doesn't matter where in this we are in the whole Team Beachbody business structure, we are all at the very top of our own organization. We all own our own income, and that's pretty exciting. Now that's some strategy for preferred placement in the context of rank advancement. There's another strategy that you're going to want to employ after you go diamond. Uh, first, you want to go diamond, remember, because that's how you open up all of this. If you're not, I'm sorry, not diamond, emerald. Going emerald is how you open up all this. Going emerald is your first business milestone goal. Without being emerald, none of this stuff down here matters. And to get emerald, you just need two. You need one on your left and one on your right. You're all active in your emerald. Now you're going to notice, and you've already noticed, that in this downline, there's coaches you personally sponsor and coaches you do not personally sponsor. The ones that you personally sponsor are going to contribute towards your rank advancement. The ones you don't personally sponsor 
are going to contribute only towards your team cycle bonus points, which is a really cool thing. So if you've got a couple coaches that are signing up a hundred of their own coaches, even though you don't personally sponsor those hundred or so other coaches, uh, they're still in your downline and whatever volume they produce is going to count towards your team cycles. And over time, most of your coaches are going to be coaches you do not sponsor, but they're going to contribute to most of your income. So that's really cool that you're going to be able to earn off of everybody once you're emerald and above. But it's the personally sponsored coaches that are going to contribute to your rank advancements. Your, your non-personally sponsored coaches don't contribute to your rank advancements, just your team cycle bonus points. So I just wanted to make sure that we're all clear on that. Now, this strategy, this, this other strategy that you're going to want to employ after you go Emerald, other than the strategy of uh, preferred placement for the purpose of rank advancement, is going to be based on uh, team volume, or left leg versus right leg, strong leg versus weak leg. You're always going to have a weak leg, you're always going to have a strong leg. Now, let's say, for example, your left leg on average is getting 1,000 volume points a week, and your right leg is getting, for example, 500 volume points a week. Well, your right leg is going to be your weak leg, obviously, so you might want to start stacking coaches on that side, setting preferred placement that side to go deep and wide on that side until it catches up and it's producing more volume than your right leg. It takes over as your strong leg. Now, your right leg is your, is your weak leg, so then you're going to switch your strategy to placing coaches on your right leg until that takes over again as your strong leg, and you can keep teetering back and forth and that's really important because remember, to cycle you need 300 uh, team volume points, but uh, the catch to that is that you need at least 100 on your weak leg. So if you've got all 300 on your strong leg and none on your weak leg, then you're not going to cycle. So that's why that's important to also play that strategy in regards to weak leg versus strong leg. So that's something to think about as you do this. Another point that I want to go over that Jay Floyd spent quite a bit of time on is, uh, and I'm glad he did because I talk about this a lot too, so I'm really glad to see another coach talk about it, is if you have a spouse, sign your spouse up. It does not matter at all if they're interested in the business opportunity or not. What matters is this is a chance for you to open up a second business center just for the purpose of collecting the volume. And what you want to do is right after you sign up and you've got a spouse, sign your spouse up right away before you get any coaches. You want to put your spouse at the very top of one of your two legs, either the left leg or the right leg. The reason you want to do that right away is because, let's say for example, you put your spouse at the very top of your left leg. So the circle through the X is your spouse. Now every coach you put into that left leg Whatever volume that comes from that side, that volume is going to go through your spouse and it's going to go up to you. So it's sort of like earning, in theory, twice, twice the money or twice the income. It's kind of nice. Now if you decide to wait just to see how things go and you sign up a few firecrackers and you're seeing, oh, things are going good, I'm going to sign up my spouse now, but your spouse is going to be at the very bottom of all that stuff and she's not going to benefit from it. She won't or he, whoever your spouse is. So don't wait. Put your spouse in right away. It doesn't matter if they want to run the business. You can run their business center for them. Now everyone else who doesn't have a spouse, we actually have to wait till we get two star diamond, then we have the option of opening up our own second business center. I'm a single guy, so I've actually got to wait till I have that. And by then, well, I mean, uh, my, my business center, I've already got hundreds of coaches, so I'm already pretty well thriving. So, but even still, I'm going to be even more thriving by the time I get to Two Star Diamond, and my second business center is going to go at the bottom of all that, on either my left leg or my right leg. Now, if I had the opportunity, like some of you do, to put my second business center at the very top of my left or my right leg, man, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I'd do it in a heartbeat because I understand the importance, the powerful impact that's going to have over your family income. So you really should get your spouse out there. If you know how powerful the concept of leverage is, then it would be very